thanks so much for stopping by. I'm creating a two-page layout in the Cricut Design Space. Um, this is a different and a new technique for me. I don't know if it's going to work out, but um, I think if I do everything right, we're all, we'll be set. I'm going to be creating the base of the scrapbook layout by clicking on Shapes and Square. And I'm going to ask it to do 11 by 11. You could go up to 11 and a half, 11.8 on the Cricut Design Space, but by doing it uh, at 11 by 11, I can put another uh, pattern layer behind it. I'm going to change the color of this to white, so I will click on the image, click on the black square up in the corner there, and change it to white. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is bring your attention to the fact that I have put this layer one inch down and one inch over because um, ultimately at the end I'm going to need to attach everything. If I stick it up in that left corner, I'm not going to have the room to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and finish. We're going to be creating the frames. Clicking on square, I'm going to unlock it. My pictures are uh, three by four. One of them is a vertical style. And so I'm going to do 2.75 by 3.75. This way the picture will lay behind it. And I'll just leave that black. And then I'm going to create another frame. And I'm going to make this one 3.75 by 2.75. And I'll be positioning. Oh, I see what I just did. I just changed that one. Let's go back. 275, 375. I thought it was creating a new one. Shapes square. Let's do a new one. Unlock it. And this one's going to be <coughs> 3.75 by 2.75. And we're going to make a couple of these. Well, five of them to be exact. Copy, paste, paste again paste again, and paste again. And then I'll position these as such. Just making sure I have room for all of them. There, I need space down on the bottom because I'm going to be doing some journaling directly on this. So I'm making sure I've got everything up as far as I can go without it cutting the uh, paper incorrectly. Bring that up there. Looks like I'm going to need one more square. Copy paste. Um, you know, actually, let's do it this way. I'm going to delete one, and then I'm just going to put this guy right here. Again, I'm trying to leave enough space underneath that picture frame to do the journaling. Looks like we actually can do it now. I could even bring this one a little bit down more. You see what I'm doing here? I'm just kind of positioning, making sure I get everything in its place. Now you cannot center this um, by going into a line because they will all, the frames will all end up on top of each other. I, I tried it. Okay, just a little bit more. I just want to be able to have space underneath each one of those frames. I'm going to bring it in a little bit so that I have some um, evenness on the borders. And we should be good to go. All right, let's go ahead and do the journaling. I'm going to do one journaling example, and then I'll do the rest off camera, and I'll show you how it turns out. Let's do text. Um, I'm going to need a writing um, one. So let's go down to the filter and do writing. And then it'll just give me the ones that will write. And um, do something that's clear. Babette. Actually, I like that one a lot. And I want to go ahead and change the font size to 12. I'm not sure why it clicked off that. Let's go ahead and um, Create the text. It's going to say, um, Kyle and his friends had a great time. I'm going to stop there because I'm going to go to a second line 
but first I need to change that font size to 12. And I'm going to take that journaling right over here. I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to get rid of the word time because it's not going to fit right underneath that. I may even, okay, I just moved the, the base. I've got to be careful with that. Okay, let's double click again and get rid of great. And I see that I had. Okay, let's do another line. I'm going to do text. Great time escaping. I believe that's two P's. Escaping is actually a um, short term, short term, a short word for landscaping, a tank, but it's called scaping. So I'm not really sure how to spell it. Scaping the 120 gallon. All right, so I've still clicked onto the, the words here. I'm going to go up to the font size and change that to 12 again. And I'm going to move it up here. Now that's going to be too long again, so I'm going to click on those words. Actually, double click, I'm sorry. 120. All right, and I'm going to move that so that it's underneath where it should be. And add another text line. Gallon. Fish tank. Going up to the font size, changing it to 12 again. And moving it up underneath. So ultimately what's going to happen here is the Cricut is going to cut the base. Then it's going to cut the squares and then it will write on it. But you have to attach everything. Now, before I do this, I wanna just um, make sure everything is in its place. I'm not done with the journaling, but once you're done with the journaling, this is the next step that you will do. You're gonna highlight the whole thing and you're going to attach it. I do wanna to bring to your attention though that make sure that your lettering is in the queue per se where it says draw and not cut. Okay, so I'm gonna click on attach. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on make it so you can see exactly how it's gonna work. It's gonna cut the frame for the base, right? Sorry about that. And then it's gonna cut all of the squares and then it'll write. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my journaling and we'll get over to the craft mat and I'll show you how this turned out. Alrighty, welcome back. This is how it turned out. Um, in hindsight, I should have used either a different font or a different um, type of Cricut pen. The one I used is the medium tip. And with this kind of font, it was a little bit too thick, but I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna redo everything all over again. I um, am very excited about this, actually. This is going to be, um, making my scrapbooking things so take so much less of time and if I'm journaling uh, most of the time I don't know about you guys but I tend to kind of uh, you know mess it up if I'm journaling exactly you know hand journaling I you know I don't know sometimes I misspell words or whatever it is but in this case I don't have to do that anymore all right, so I wanted to show you, this is foundations, coordinations from Joann's, and this is just some, I think it's probably American Crafts, and it's going to go on like that. The little seaweed, I just literally put seaweed in the search bar, um, that one comes from Create a Critter, and the paper itself is from this paper stack, uh, Kane Company. And I've made some really, some really cute baby mini albums with this. So I just wanted to show you where that came from. Um, I used the print and cut feature on the rest of the stuff that are going, that's going on the layout. All right, so while I have this flipped over, I'm also going to be putting the pictures in. And I wanted to do, where are my pictures? 
this is going to be the top part of it. That's the first picture, so it's going to go just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my, this is actually um, this glue here in this little tiny, um, they call it a quilling, a quilling um, uh, glue pen. And I'm going to literally just put it like right on the edges. I don't want a lot of glue. I don't want it to squish out and make a big mess. All right, so that's the first one. And let me flip that over and see if I've got that on the way I want it. I do want to move it up a little bit. That's why I like the glue, you can reposition it easily. There we go. Very cute, okay. Um, now what I'm gonna do here is put the glue on the picture and then tuck it from underneath. I think that'll be a better way then flipping it back and forth. This is literally the first time I've done this, where I've created the frame within the layer. This way I can just move it around as I'm looking at the picture, right? Make sure I'm putting the right pictures. Time to put the water in. Yep. You could use tape adhesive if you wanted to. That's just my, my choice to do it this way because I knew it'd be easier to move it around if I had to. Now, I already did put adhesive on the back of that. I wish I wouldn't have because I have a feeling I'm going to tear this one piece of green here if I try to pull it up. Okay, I'm going to try to lift this up here. Making mistakes already. Okay, that's okay. I love this color of green. Alright, so this is so the story about these goldfish is the white one was 17 years old when he passed away last year. And the gold one was 15. And my boys had won them at the fair. And they moved and had different tanks and they're just super, we actually cried because we had them for so long. And for no other reason, I mean, they were healthy fish, other than just being really old. They passed away, and Goldie was so sad because Old Man died first, and she just gave up. I mean, her, she didn't even go up to the top of the tank and eat, or she just, it was so weird. It was just sweet and sad. So she lived about two weeks after Old Man died. And then she passed. So even little fishies have those feelings. This picture right here turned out weird. It's like brown. I guess when I took it, it wasn't enough light. I could have edited it, but I didn't think about it, I guess. I just printed it out. Okay. Cute. All right, let's put these little fun things together. I'm going to use different glue this time for this. And that is one of the reasons why <laughs> I didn't want to do that. It squirted out all over. Okay, so I cut these three different sizes. I did a two and a half, a two, and a 1.75. So let's use that big old blob there. There we go.
All right, try that again. Hopefully it doesn't blob out on me. I'll use that leaf right there to try to cover that up. All right, I'll put this one down. And then the smaller one. I mean, I'm not even squeezing this bottle and it's spewing out. Let me grab one of these little wipes here. That's gonna dry clear, um, not transparent. So I'll see if I can get this cleaned up a little bit. This is just like a off-brand Lysol wipe, but it doesn't have bleach or anything in it, just This is what's really stinking cute, are these little bubbles that comes with this cut. And I'm going to put some pop dots on the larger ones. Now, I don't know why I did that. Okay, everything's sticking to my finger here. Okay. I really know what I'm doing, people. Come on, glue. So I'm going to do this big one, and we're going to pop it up and give it a little bit of dimension. And then do a little dab here, this guy here, and then we'll do another big one. And then if I have extra, which I probably do, let's just finish it off. These are teeny tiny. All right, let's go ahead and do these. Little pieces of seaweed. Now, um, I know seaweed is more like salt water related, but there are some really pretty bushes and types of plants that go into that big tank. And I, I don't have the picture of the Oh, I do have a picture of the finished one. It's, it's going to be on the second page of this layout. Okay, let's go ahead and put the bubbles on that. I chose the perfect day to do scrapbooking. Um, it's a Sunday. And um, here where I live, it is cloudy and foggy. So you kind of don't want to get out and do anything. So I'm going to scrapbook and share everything with you. Uh, I don't like that there. Put it right there. All right, let's go ahead and put those other ones. I'll put a medium size there. I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I pulled it up, it tore the paper. So we'll cover that up. Do some little ones. I have quite a few of these left, so I'm gonna go ahead and use them up. I'm looking at this here, it looks like I put this on crooked. So hopefully it's not permanent to the point where I can't get this picked up. It was over to the left side too too much. But once it gets into the sleeve too, it'll hold everything down. Okay, back to the bubbles. Oh, we can put some of those up here too. I'll put those flat. We have two more left, two little ones. Let's just put those there and there. And we'll pop the 
this one up. <laughs> I put it on the glue. That's okay. Okay. This here, Go Fish, is from um, oh, Family Album. If you guys haven't checked that one out, oh my gosh, you, you got to check it out. It's pre-made scrapbook layouts. So, yeah, it's really cute. All right, this one's going to be for my um, second page because I have a picture of my dog looking at the fish. So, put that one there. That one um, is actually from uh, Nate's ABCs. This is from Miss Kate's Cuttables. And I'm going to put this guy here. Or this little girl, I should say, here. And the Miss Kate's Cuttables is from All You Need Is Love. And I thought in honor of my two goldfish that passed, we're going to do that. All right, now these come with little hearts. And I'll put those there. Two little ones. And another little one. And the big one for this beauty with their little pink cheeks. Adorable. I would love to get into the mind of the designers for Miss Kate's Cuttables. I absolutely love all the stuff that they do. All right, that is the layout, the, the left side of it. Um, I'm thinking I want to put something right here, but I didn't cut anything out for that. So, oh, I know what I want to do. I know what I'll do. Never mind. I'm also going to put sequins throughout here. what I wanted to do. I knew there was something I was missing. Okay, put that one there. I got two of them. That was a bonus. You can put these on pop dots too. You don't have to use glue for this. I've got glue all over me. Everything's sticking to me. I'm like a little kid. Okay, so those are really pretty. Let's put on some blue. If you have a, um, I think they call it a stick pen. Um, I do, but it's in a drawer too far for me to reach right now. That works really good for sequins. Okay, that one just flew across the room. And then I have a silver color that I want to use as well. Let's put one right there. All right, and the silver ones. Well, this has been really fun creating this. Um, I will do the second page, and I'll put it on my blog. So if you're interested, you can stop by there and check it out. Too much glue, but... Okay, yeah, I'm not done now. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and um, I hope that you use this method. Actually, it's really fun to do. You can also do circles or um, stars or whatever you know you want to do. You, you don't have to do um, rectangles like this. All right. Thanks so much and have a great day.